Infected is the new X-Men spinoff series about an underground network of mutants fighting to survive. He plays Thunderbird in the series. Take a look. You ever think about walking away? All the time. I'm stopping you. What we're doing here. This is important to me. But everybody finds their own reason to stay. Now, actor Blair Redford is here to talk about returning home to Atlanta and also his character's newfound longevity on the show. So good morning. Morning. Hey, glad hey. to have you here with us. Thank you. This glad to be here. Quite the show. Quite That's been the fun. show. Yeah. yeah, it has so many people just engrossed. A lot of people were extremely excited for the premiere of this and it's been wildly popular. But first, let's start with just kind of talking about your background. How did you get into uh, to acting? Uh, yeah, I, I got interested in it in high school, I guess. Started out doing some theater, did a play, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know, it was pretty quick. I uh, caught the bug and, and moved out to L.A. pretty yeah. soon after that. The rest yeah. is history. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot in between, yeah. but, you know, it's not that easy, but uh, that, that was the process, I guess, yeah. You got to start somewhere. Hey, yeah. speaking of, of high school, I have to mention this because I think this is so cool. You went to high school with Katie Beasley. That is cool. <laughs> it is, yeah, that's the second time I, I've been to the, the studio here for an interview. Yeah. And, it's nice to see a, a familiar face from, from high sure. school. Yeah. Okay, but we've got to mention, she was a freshman, he was a senior, so I asked him, you know, they weren't too <laughs> close because that's a pretty big age difference, but still they went to school together. And, you know, we mentioned that you're an Atlanta native and you're from here, so it's got to be nice to be back working on a project, you know, here locally. Feels Absolutely. like home. Yeah, no, it's, it's incredible what's happened here with the industry. Um, you know, I moved to L.A. 13 years ago and none of us that were that were moving out there to, to try to make it in the business back then thought that Imagine, it would ever come right? back here as strong as it has so it's it's really a blessing to to be working here and be with family and everything it's nice yeah. let's talk about your character on the show you play thunderbird and one of the first examples really of a native american superhero and worth noting too blair is that it didn't last too long when we talk about you know the the comic book uh, <laughs> uh version of this but on the show it's a different story yeah you know i, I get a lot of uh I get a lot of that from uh, comic book and, and big Marvel fans. They, they like to point out to me that I, I should be worried because <laughs> he died after a few few editions of the comic. But, you know, we're, we're uh, I think, doing a good job of paying homage to, to the original storylines of our characters, but we also have the liberty to write original uh, stories of our own and, and tell this in a, in a series format that hopefully is going to last for years. So yeah. I'm, I'm here to stick around, you know, from what I've heard. So <laughs> Making that change we'll worked see. out well for you uh, when it comes to the show. But what is yeah. it like to work on a production like The Gifted? You know, during the break, we were talking about everything that goes into it, the special effects and, mm -hmm. you know, the hours on set, spending time with, with everyone. So this is a huge production. It is, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a monster of a show right now. Um, but it's yeah, it's kind of like it's a dream come true for me. I mean, I've been a, a huge comic book fan and an X X Men fan since I was a kid. So to play this character and to go to work every day and have uh, you know set pieces made of styrofoam and <laughs> concrete walls that I can run through and that's right? you know that's my job day to day. It's it's yeah. it's been really fun. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great show. It's a lot of long hours, a lot goes into it, but we're all really having a blast. Well, and worth it when you get to see the finished product, too. So yeah. what has it been like for you, you know, meeting Marvel comic book fans? Because they could be really intense, you know, and a lot of the characters that we've had come on have said that they learn <clears throat> things from the fans, fans bringing up things that, you know, are from the comics. Oh, yeah, they have a lot of knowledge, for yeah. sure, for sure. But yeah. I, I love them. They're great. I mean, I've done a couple series now, and um, usually you have to win over an audience, you know. You have to you have uh -huh. to build them up when, when it's an original story that they've never seen. But... When it's a comic book show, there's such a built-in audience already sure. there. They're they're just they you know they're you rooting the for you. They're, they're hoping yeah. they're hoping you do well. So, uh, yeah, like when we went to Comic Con in San Diego before the show even aired, it was just we had a mass <laughs> of people waiting Chaos. for us. And I was like, you don't even know if this is gonna be good, but they're yeah. just they're there to support. So sure. I love it. And they just believe in you. Got to mention this too. A, yeah. a really fun fact about Blair is you played a, an interesting character at a Renaissance festival back many years ago. So tell us about that. <laughs> Always comes up. Um, <laughs> How can it not? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, well, you know, it was here in Georgia. I was uh, I was in high school and trying to figure out what I was gonna do for like a summer job, I guess, I think was the original reason I looked it up. And um, yeah, ended up auditioning to be an actor at the Renaissance Festival, and that kind of kind of led into doing some of their uh, stunt shows, like uh, sword fighting and stuff yeah. like that. So, for a teenage boy, it was a it was a pretty good summer job, and yeah, 
Had so a good cool. time with so it. So from pirate to uh, to mutant. That's Making right. It work. Yeah, yeah. There Having you fun. go. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch an all new The Gifted tonight at nine o'clock right here on Fox Five. Very special thanks to Blair Redford for coming in and hanging out with yeah, us today. Of course. Today. Thank Blair, you. So good to meet you.